The best part about Forspoken is its dialogue. And I really get annoyed and I hate the fact that it gained this reputation that it has horrible dialogue and that people are already, you know, spouting bad things about it before the games even come out. And I really, there was this other game that's that's already on its way that have similar dialogue and people are already making this comparison. And yet, Forspoken's been given such a bad rep. With that being said, the, ga the game's mid. The, it's... It's okay. It's all right. Now, this is just going to be an in-progress review. I've put some hours into the game, and but I never came close to really finishing it. I did look up to see what else came endgame-wise, and I have seen people on Twitter post some, like, really cool-looking combos and things of that nature, but I want to touch on that. It's cool-looking. I think the game looks cool, and, and it feels cool, but that's probably as far as it goes. There's not really any depth. To this game and when I, when I talk about death I, I'm, I'm kind of going into when it comes to like character progression uh, design even the camera work and, and the feel of the game itself the only thing that really does have unique and, and increasing depth to it is the combat system which uh, specifically the abilities that you can level up and uh, the map design is I, I think pretty well made as well but other outside of that facet the the game uh lacks everything else now i do appreciate that the map design and and the game uh functions uh relatively relatively well but i i do want to go into what, what i was kind of saying before when it comes to the character even though i did enjoy the dialogue and at times it made me chuckle now now to be fair i'm kind of biased it, it can be pretty easy to, to make me laugh sense of humor can be kind of easy for me at times i do love when things are corny however uh, what's freya the main character she hates everything <laughs> she really she's a lot like kit from willow where she's kind of mean and she's a bully and she she gets mad at everyone but unlike kit uh, she doesn't seem to grow from this in, in a gradual way, whereas they're both kind of resenting their childhood and the position that they're put into and they're lashing out to everyone uh, based on the situation that, they, that they're in. Uh, Kit, you know, learns some responsibility and gains from it, whereas Freya, I'm sure, goes into that, but that being that... I am controlling Freya and I'm a protagonist and a lot of times you want to insert yourself into these characters. It doesn't feel as natural. There's never really a point where I'm really cheering for Freya unless she's cheering for herself. And another comparison I want to add this up to is like Deadpool. Deadpool's a jerk. I personally have never really been a fan of Deadpool. I prefer the second movie over the first one because the, the, the sense of humor in the first one is... is just raunchy and, and kind of just a little bit too stupid for me with that being said deadpool has consistent characteristics uh, a moral high ground that that uh, stands above other things it's just the way he goes about how he how he follows those moral high grounds is, is uh, different than like captain america spider-man or superman right whereas freya uh, complains and doesn't seem like she has uh, a moral ground that we can uh, stand behind she kind of just is always doing things for herself and it never really feels like uh you're you're getting that character progression slowly going in even um at the start there, there is a little bit of it there's a little bit where i where i see it but then she kind of goes back and it's a slow slow burn i don't want to critique this part so much because i i didn't really get to fully play through the story but from what i've seen from what i heard it doesn't change as much now i do the things that i do want to critique are the things that i feel like are definitely going to stay uh going uh, throughout the, the main of the game that won't change uh, the first thing that i want to complain about is the movement it feels janky it it feels like i'm fighting against the game i i'm not a fan of it it looks fluid it looks like you can do really cool things and it's very flashy but it, it is it feels completely different it's like playing a, a spider-man game with the horrible swinging in it I, the combat uh 
from what I can tell, they started off with the worst types of spells, which makes sense because you want your spells to be cooler as you go on. But you start off with, with machine gun rock, uh, blowing up rock, and shotgun rock. It doesn't feel like you can do much variation with that. You have some spells that you get along with it. And I was early on, I was already finding out ways to combo and, and kind of just like chain some of my effects with one another and I, and I was having a decent time doing so and seeing that those abilities uh, grow past that I think that's really the best part of the game whereas the enemies all look the same the enemies aren't really that unique they all kind of just run and attack you uh, at least the animal variations do when it comes to fighting the, the humanoid characters it, it does feel a lot more uh, unique and it feels more strategic when you're playing against them um, but being that this one is kind of like a hack and slash shooting s type game you're, you're i don't it can get kind of boring just mashing a button there uh, and that's where I, i'm also going into the depth where i'm just sitting back spamming a button and the dodging is crazy simple you you just hold down the run button and you automatically dodge everything. There is a meter, so there is, I guess, some sort of, uh, you know, the resource management, but it's not a lot. It's not it's not that hard to resource management in this game, and I'm sure as the game progresses, you, it gets easier to dodge. And it, it doesn't feel like Devil May Cry in the sense where you dodge and you feel good. You feel The game kind of tricks you into thinking that you're a badass, and the same with getting counters and like Dark Souls, or, you know, like Elden Ring. Like it, it doesn't feel as fluid. It doesn't feel as smooth as that. It always feels like I'm struggling in the lock-on system and the enemy may look somewhat different. They're all just, I, I, I don't know. They're all, they're all the same. They're all, they all look the same. They, there's nothing unique that came from any of them. Um, they're all just darkness and they just run, charge at you and, and attack and you spend the whole game kiting everything everything i i fought a, a giant grizzly bear that was way out of my level resistant to my attacks because i hadn't unlocked my new abilities yet but i just spent the whole time kiting it and i eventually beat it but the, the map design the level design offer for some unique uh, experiences when it comes to traversing and running up and around obstacles and and using actually like real quickly using the environment uh to fight your enemies which i appreciate it and, and i think again when it comes to the use of your abilities that's where the game shines and it progresses and, and that's really just the, the, the highlight point well I, and when i was talking about the story earlier i feel like this game has a kind of generic story in alice in wonderland it hits you right on the nose with its tropes doesn't even try to hide it then that's okay i don't mind that right then but it's stale to look at it's stale to watch you you can't even so again comparing it to another rpg like god of war there is a lot of moments in god of war that could easily become super boring but it's a very cinematic experience. Whenever you get into a cutscene in any other video game, the, the cutscenes turn into movies. And, and there's a reason for that, is because imagine if any time Atreus or anyone talked in God of War, Kratos had to stand still and listen. Instead, they talk whenever you're moving from point A to point B, like you're turning on the radio or going onto a car. This is for spoken. Anytime you have to speak, your bracelet who isn't even a person you have to sit there and listen to it it got to the point real early on that i was just skipping i did not care because i i just wanted to get back to playing the game i didn't want i, I didn't care about the lore i didn't i it, none of that really mattered to me because i didn't want to just be sitting there doing nothing and the same thing goes for a majority of your interaction with the world now with major cutscenes and, and story moments they do play out and they do they do have camera working where they switch in between characters and they use they use the camera to to express emotions but when you're talking when you're doing the side quest or even when you're doing uh main story missions that aren't like i guess uh climactic just just progressing the plot along it's static you're you're sitting there looking at two people two npcs move their lips barely doing any motion and it just gets boring to watch now i gotta give credit where credit is due this game 
didn't have any bugs. It came out finished, which <laughs> which is rare for games uh, nowadays to actually come out finished. So, you know, good on them for doing that. But I do not feel like this game is worth the $70 price point. I, I would wait for it to go on sale. Uh, I, do I think you can get your money's worth out of it? Yes, there's there's 50 plus hours out of this game. But um, to me, it's, it, I think when it comes to something like this, I can forgive you know, the camera work, I can forgive the story, I can even forgive the cheesy dialogue. If the game, if the core fundamentals of the game is really good, then that's all that counts. For me, the movement, which is, is just struggling it's like it's like trying to rein in a brawn that's what that's what's bad and uh, as as cool it is to mix in abilities and to get new abilities it's still a struggle to even aim at something or to lock on or to the auto locking it, it's all just a struggle and it's not something that can be addictively uh fun to jump back into and that's that's not good whenever it comes to playing a video game so really when it, when it comes down to it this game this game's like a five or a six but again in progress review tell me what you guys thought for those of you that got it if you are you waiting for it to come on sale did you also think the dialogue was horrible until next time play night